Here we go, guys. This is our world final this year. Pink Freud versus Diligent. Pre-bans are going to be coming out right now, and it is going to be the Ganymede and Nada getting pre-banned in our first bout between Diligent and Pink Freud. I love the Nana pre ban here from Diligent. Diligent shows a lot of respect to Pink Roid, even though a lot of people are saying Pink Roid not quite as box dependent and uh, struggles a little bit with the draft in comparison to Diligent. Diligent shows his opponent as much respect as he deserves. Pink Roid is one of our world finalists here for 2021, and the first pick he takes is the Sierra. Sierra with the speed lead as well, coming up for Pink Roid. Diligent might be drafting that more, <laughs> definitely drafting that more to claim a speed lead for himself as well as well as that Connell too. Yeah, he's not as afraid of the the mole long Sierra Juno setup here that Pink Roid has. Diligent has a lot of opportunities to actually kill and take it out. Han being one of the very effective units to go into this Juno, as if the Juno doesn't revenge, then the Han will just insta kill it based on that uh, that defense break. Ooh, uh, mole long Annabelle's what's coming out here for Pink Roid. A little risky. Chung Pong is very strong into this so far, but Pink Roy could be baiting in towards wanting Diligent to pick two wind units here, right? Give the opportunity for the Verd and the Antares, the Antares, the Diana, something along those lines. Well, let's see. Well, that Savannah is going to be coming out here, and Savannah is easily dismounted by an Antares, if that's what's going to be coming out here. Interesting that we're going to be seeing a Laura coming out for Diligent, though. Laura very effective in this draft. We're definitely going to see the Leo Verd here. The Leo Verd is something that Pink Roid likes to use. He's got incredible runes on these Verds. And I say Verds because I feel like he has a couple different builds on them, to be honest. But uh, that Leo, very effective in this situation. Diligent might not be that afraid of it, actually. I could definitely see multiple Verds coming out of Pink Roid here. But we have Leo Verd. Is he going to lock it in against Diligent here in this round one? Diligent with one final pick. And it is going to be the Tian Lang, and that Tian Lang might as well be the ban at this point. Very effective draft here. So Diligent most likely leaning towards the ban on the Leo. However, in this draft, it may actually be more effective to ban the Verd. We do know we're going to see most likely the ban on the Tian Lang, but instead goes for the Ana that wants to deny the opportunity for the AoE defense break and the cleanse. Yep, there goes Annabelle. Annabelle gets banned out here. Here we go, guys. HP lead for both of the players here. Let's go! We've got Diligent. We've got Pinkroid. This is the SWC World Final. Leo's going to be kicking it off with some damage coming towards Savannah. Here it is. Do we see the revenge? The first turn revenge potential here. Do we see it? Does he go for it? Oh, he's going for the AoE. No revenge coming out of this Verdi heal. Savannah looking to get some defense breaks here. Well, defense break opportunity comes in. No revenge from the Verd, oh, though. Man. Or it could come in for a big skill two. There's a skill two. No stun except onto the Molong and Ciara here. Still no revenge from this Verdi heal. A very effective setup. Could just go skill three anyways for the extra damage. Doesn't go for it. Wants to play it safe. Waits it out a little bit. Uh, looking for a stun on top of the Verdi heal. Does he get that stun? Still no stun, still no revenge coming out of this Verdi heal. Ah, uh, no stun, not enough to kill. The push, oh, Leo not quite having it. Oh, there it is, the extra turn. Does he have a low enough HP state for that skill too? I don't think he does. Yeah, not just yet for that torrent. I don't think he's gonna be ready for a reckless assault either. I think he goes with the big skill too, hoping for something. Gets double stuns in here. A Little bit of value on top of that more and Laura. Oh, but missing the Sierra Bomb puts him back in the state he was before. Did get some value, but it might not be enough. Vert could go down this turn to the uh, the Carnal. Sierra does take an extra turn there and move in front. And yeah, no additional turn from Sierra. Sierra's going to have Bomb up next turn. Laura looking a little low right now. Savannah primed and ready to do some devastating damage. What's the unit that he's going to be taking out here? Going right Sierra for Sierra, too. not dealing any damage at all. Missed one of the crits there. That's... That, uh, that Leo reducing a ton of damage potential, but here it is. Here's the Reckless into the Carnal. Could be enough to take it out. Ooh, that dot's gonna be enough to take it out here. And that's gonna be two units down for Diligent here. I think Pink Roy was able to turn this around on him. A little bit of luck here went a long way. No stun from the Carnal into Pink Roy's Verd with super, super value. This this Leo is just gonna rip through the, uh, the Savannah here. 
Yep, Savannah not yet dismounted, though. If he gets the initial turn, it will dismount. And there you have it. He's going to concede Pink Roid. Taking round one away from Diligent. Oh, Pink Roid getting a little lucky there, but he knows that's just how the game is. Sometimes a little bit of luck can go a long way. But you got to keep the momentum going. Diligent, honestly, probably preparing for his next match. He's probably already in game two mode. He's just ready to go into the next draft, ready to know what he's going to play against Pink Roid. Yep, most definitely diligent, staying calm and collected, getting it around to with Pink Roid. Yeah, a little bit unfortunate not to get the stun there. He really, really needed the value of that. But, you know, as we know, not the best chance. We have 50%, so it's a little bit on the unfortunate side. Definitely. You could also say the same for that Verti Heal not revenging on any, on any, on any of those AoEs that hit his Verti Heal. Not a single revenge came out of him. Yeah, that's true. Good value not getting revenge from that Savannah. However, it's, I'm interested to know whether that was a violent revenge for violent nemesis or potentially triple revenge. There's so many options and so many builds for that unit. You never really know what's going to happen. Oh, Diligent with the respect ban though. Takes out the Leo away from Pinkroid. Yep, takes out that Leo. He wants to draft that Savannah. Tian Lang getting pre banned out by Pink Roid. Intelligent putting a lot of value into this Carnal. Not quite sure if he needs to take it right away. I'm pretty sure Pink Roid doesn't have a Nem Bison. Let's see what Diligent does here. I don't want to see him go with that Water Ryu again. I don't want to see him go with the more. Pink Roid going to be bringing out the Nana. He's very quick to drafting this Nana, and he's going to pair it up with a Verti Heal as well. He wants to put every potential RNG chance that's valuable to him, but not too risky on the field. It's actually a pretty strong strategy against someone who plays very, very clean, like Diligent. Somebody who picks a draft that's always going to be consistent. A setup like this, where he has the, the snow, anti-snowball mechanic, but also has that, that Verd for the RNG, is very, very effective. Is the Tetra coming up for Pink Roy? It's signaling he's going to be letting that Gianna through. Hmm, interesting on the Tetra. With the rotation of the Verd, it does give a lot of potential here. Diligent doesn't have a lot of damage, and right now doesn't have the cleanest opportunity into the Juno. I would be shocked to see Diligent pick a chat with the Pink Roy, though. Yeah, I don't think I, I, I don't see Diligent drafting a Chow. Or even at I Eager. like the chill. Go really old meta. Eager would be amazing here too. The attack bar reduction, the turn rotation. It's a lot of damage output from those units. Uh, goes with a safe pick like Ragdoll. The next pick is going to be Annabelle. And I, I do like the Annabelle. I also like the Annabelle. It makes me wonder though if he's planning on banning out that Tetra. Chow is an okay pick here for Pink Red, but I think I like something a little bit more defensive into this. Something to give him some sort of sustain and maybe maybe some control. Yeah, Pink Roy's just not showing a lot of threat right now to be drafting a Nana. That's a lot of threat. Molong is definitely a bit scarier in this kind of draft. I do like it. I think the ban is still going to be either the Verd or the Tetra. Tetra is really effective into, into Carnal and also fairly effective into Annabelle, right? Being able to reduce those cooldowns. But I guess not. He's afraid of the Molong and doesn't want to fight it. Yep, Mo Long's getting banned out here. Woos is getting banned. Crit rate lead for Pink Roid. HP lead for Diligent. Let's go. We're getting into round two. Diligent looking to get a little bit of revenge on Pink Roid here. Let's see how this is going to work out for him. Gianna kicking it off for Diligent. I don't think this bird is on revenge, so it's unlikely that unless he kills that uh, Tetra really early or has some sort of pushback for her, I think she's going to be able to extend this bomb indefinitely. Well, that bomb is going to be sitting on top of the Verti Heal, and it may sit on top of Verti Heal for a long time. It doesn't need to really do anything into it, but this could be a lot of damage. There's a lot of damage potential out here with the defense break into the Carnal. Yep, here comes some defense breaks on the field, and it's only going to be landing on the Verti Heal and Juno, but Juno's going to be revenge despair stunning that Annabelle. That was a pretty value uh, re double revenge there. The stun is very effective here. Does get the damage. Something worth noting is I wonder if Diligent is actually running crit rate on his Carnal. We've been seeing a ton of damage from it and a lot of crits. I don't know if it's for certain, but it could be. Oh, the Violent proc from the Ragdoll takes out the first stack here against Pinkroid. 
Yep, that's a really big move right there. Big Violent Proc removing that orb there. Yeah, he's going to be going in for He's a big more stun damage. here. Huge oh, stun and the extra stun. turn. Wait, this, this, this could be what's happening here. Diligent has a lot of damage output and Pink Ray doesn't have enough to take it down. No stun here on the, the Ragdoll. The rotations from the Gianna, it's it's going to go down unless he gets a huge despair stun here from Nana. He needs a big despair stun. He got a couple of units in here and a lot of defense breaks as well. He gets that, gets the kill on the Verd. Attack bar reduction here would be very effective into the Juno. No revenge. It's unfortunate. Another turn for Carnal. Carnal's just overlapping Pink Roid. It really is. Does heal up just a little bit here. Now these defense breaks are going to be very, very handy for Pinkroyd. He needs to take advantage of him to get another orb up here. Kind of look at a pummel and massive Pinkroyd, damage here. He's got such a great draft in this setup. It works really effectively. But the thing is, Diligent does so much damage. He has so much rotation that it's very, very difficult for him to really he's fight against that angle. As well, choosing not to cleanse up the defense buff, uh, 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 the defense break on his ragdoll. Interesting. He might just go into the Nana here and it's definitely going to be over. Yeah, has a lot of damage potential. Goes for the Juno. No, quite enough to kill. Doesn't go for the, the cleanse yet. He's a little bit worried about it. Could be a big risk though. This Juno could be enough to kill and it's not quite enough. It's just shy. Definitely just shy. D. Carnal's going in there confirming the kill. That is going to be it in this round. I don't see him coming back from this one by any means. There's the big heal. So much healing. 13k. Annabelle with that crazy buff for the heal amount. And the skill one is just going to rotate so much damage. The dots are so strong. Diligence bringing it back. And Diligence is going to be bringing it back here. A lot of damage coming into this Nana. Nana drops here. Pinkroy, there's Four the concede. Procs. Round two. Going to Diligence. Four procs for the Carnal, though. Carnal coming back with a vengeance against Pinkroy in that first match. Didn't manage to summon the bird, so this time he's taking it out on him. He kills the bird first and moves on for the rest of that team. Yeah, even that Ragdoll getting that nice proc to finish off that Verti heal too. That was massive. Yeah, like both players say, luck goes a long way. You just got to get the luck at the right time. You, know, you can play it, you can draft it, you can make the best decisions possible, but you got to be on your A game. 100%. I'm interested to see what Pinkroy takes for the uh, alternative draft here for match three. There's a lot of different opportunities he can go. He could play, again, a more aggressive turn one comp, but it's pretty hard against Diligent. Diligent is an incredibly fast player. He has the Han Woonsaw combination. We know he loves to pick that Water Ryu or the more. It's just, it's really scary for him to take in a lot of these opportunities. All right, these are the pre-bans from last time. Tian Lang and Leo were pre-banned, and they are now available in this round three. New pre-bans coming out shortly. You're going to see them right here. Could see a Nana pre-ban here. Nana is a pretty scary unit. It would be interesting to see if Diligent took it away from Pink Red, used it to his advantage. But uh, the Gany is very, very, very prevalent here, so we most likely will see a second Gany ban. And the bands are out, and it's going to be Verd and Connell getting banned out. Oh, Pinkroid's got that I first pick. Like is it going to be the Nana? There's a lot of respect here for the Carnal and the Verd ban. Uh, Verd, like he knows, he knows that Verd is incredibly well rooted and strong and hard to fight. That Carnal, though, the chance to stun, if it hits the stun, that slow debuff stun combination is crippling. It is enough to just basically end your your focus run what is this pick from diligent diligent taking his time here it is going to be a ganymede ganymede more ganymede okeanos double reset coming out for diligent and he does lock it in so quick to the Ciara juno Angry knows it's a very effective composition for him. Sierra Juno, Nana, and the Molong is a very good setup, but he has to be careful because Diligent could go for that turn one composition. Diligent takes away the Molong here, though. Pink Red has a bit of a weird situation to deal with. Yep. I think right now Pink Red already knows what the draft's going to look like for Diligent. Diligent's making himself very predictable. Not pretty effective, though. We could see the Tetra come back again here.
He has the Mo Long, Mo Long Ashirs coming out for Pink Roid. All right. I do like seeing the Ashir. Mo Long Ashir is very good in this situation. He does get the guaranteed turn one snipe. Um, there's no, you know, if a Triana or a Vanessa comes up, then he can just ban it out. But Illigent is most likely looking to ban out the. I want to say the Escher. I think he's actually fast enough to contend it with that Gianna, but maybe not. Maybe not. It's a little bit risky because we know Pink Red has incredibly fast units. I don't think he cares too much about the speed lead here. Yep, Escher is going to get banned out. And it looks like Moore is going to get banned out inside of Diligent. Yeah, there it is. Just All right. Diligent is confident here. He's confident on speeding. Well, there's the speed lead up here for Pinkroid. Attack lead coming up for Diligent. This is round three, guys. It's going to be a very important match. See so if you can get the edge here. Gianna is going to be kicking it off. Oh, my goodness. This man is so fast. He manages to get it. Here it is. The Chung Pung reset. It's not looking good for Pinkroid right now. Yep, there's that Chung Pung reset. Oh, I'm sorry, strip right there. We have Rana Stones that he could do to apply a little bit of damage out here. May even go for another reset. I play as the safety net, but doesn't go for it. He's not sure if he's going to outspeed. There it is. He resets the Molong, gets the safety set up. Yeah, you're going to see another reset go out onto the Ciara as well. Dumping the attack bars across everybody. Bombs coming out on probably that Molong. Molong or Ciara, both very effective setups here. Puts it on the Ciara. Chip damage into the Juno, maybe. Nope, leaves that Juno alone. It's going to be reducing the attack bar with that third skill. Oh, the full attack bar reduction is pretty rough. Stones Here it comes, Rain of Stones defense break. Dealing a lot of damage, but the Revenge Despair Stun keeping the Okeanos back. You see the Ventilate right back to the Chunk Pong. Chunk Pong getting Despair Stun by the Juno. Oh, the value of this, though. Has to be careful, though. This He needs to rotate two more stuns here, or it's not going to be good. Oh, the, the, the bomb. Extra turn from Sierra eats the bomb, and she goes down. Her first stack will get taken right now. He's thinking about either taking out the CR to get the orb down there and now, uh, never mind, just give him the additional turns. He can go for the Molong. Molong's gonna be dropped into the Okeanos, not looking in Pink Red's favor by any means anymore. Oh, this is so unfortunate. Needs another stun here on the Trunk Punk. And no stun, that's gonna be GG. Serious Matter comes down and rips all of these units down. The additional damage and the resets are just not enough. Yep, there's the Ganymede ready to reset. He's dumping attack bars. He's doing everything. He can reapply glancing. He can do what he wants at this point. Rain of Stones can deal so much damage to the Juno here. Oh, and Juno's going to go down. Here it is. Here's the additional damage. And then the skill two to kill the Juno. Finish her off. That is going to be it here. There's no way. Diligent taking round three away from Pink Roy. Very well, very well played here by Diligent. Diligent knew. He knew that the Escher was the only chance he was going to get outsped. He is confident in the speed of his Gianna, knowing that all those other units are on violent, the low base speed on the Mo Long, and he played it incredibly well. His whole team moved in front, even without the speed lead. Yeah, definitely. Diligent looking extremely strong in that match. He had some really oppressive violent procs as well, which just did not do Pinkroid any favors by any means. But Pinkroid's ready to turn it around. We're getting into a ra uh, round number four between Pinkroid and Diligent in this year's SWC World Final. Anything could happen here. This is the World Finals. These are the best players, the best of the best. We have the Asia Pacific Cup winner, Diligent, taking on Pinkroid, the European Cup number one. So far, Diligent's 2-1 against Pinkroid. Pre-bans are going to be different. No Carnal, no Verd this time. Well, Carnal and Verd are going to be available this time. We've got new pre-bans coming out. I would really like to see a Nana free ban. I, I gotta see it. I I feel like there's so much strength in that unit for both of these players, but they also feel like they can effectively deal with it. Oof, looks like that more or Water Ryu is going to get banned out here. And once again, the Leo is getting pre banned. Interesting, interesting. I wonder what Diligent's going to first pick if more is not available. Carnal's an option here. It's a great option for him here. However, he could just take the Nana away from Pinkroid. 
Looks like he's going to go with the Connell. Pink right hovering over a Chang Pung. Does he choose to go for the same route and go right back to the Nana? It didn't do him too well for two matches now. We might see a Juno early on. There's potential for it, but not. But giving up speed leads right now, I don't think is super great for Pink, right? I think he needs to assert the dominance and really decide if he wants to take turn one or turn two. Ooh, looks like he's going with a Hay Gang to counter the Gianna already. I don't know if Dildren goes double Oracle, though. Double Oracle is not bad. I think Nana Okeanos is not bad. Nana Sierra is not bad either right now. There's a lot of different potential options here. These players are playing very flexible right now. There's a lot of choices they can both make. Tian Lang, very good here. And there it is. There's the Nana. Dildren takes it away from Pinkroid. Yep, let's see how Pinkroid's going to be handling Nana on the other side of the field. I feel like we haven't been able to see Pinkroid uh, actually have to deal with a Nana. Oh, yeah, this is a pretty aggressive draft here from Pinkroid. I think he's putting all of his marbles on the table here. The strip into the immediate... Uh, into the immediate Poseidon could be really strong, but it's going to be hard. Tian Lang on the field. Wunsa's available. Han Wunsa's available. Chiwu is still available here for Diligent as well. Yeah, no speed leads for either team right now. We got the Wunsa coming out. Expecting to see this Wunsa definitely taking first turn over these Brush Boys. Mm, Pink Roy potentially with the last pig Vert here. Could be going in uh, the risk. Oh, but goes for the Chiwu. He's going for the full out speed, but wouldn't the Chiwu be the ban out? going to be hard. There's a lot of choices on both sides. If the Chiwu outspeeds and he bans the Hei Gang, then it's rough for him. But if he bans the Chiwu, he might not cut if the Wunsa is banned. There's so, this is so much rock, paper, scissors. I love it. This is my favorite part about watching players like this play. They're really challenging the other person to play chicken on who the ban is. Let's find out. <laughs> this, this really could be anything. This is either one of them's match, but the ban is very, very dependent right now. Yeah, I'm just sitting here staring at the screen trying to figure it out. I think the ban is Wunsa or Tian Lang, and on the opposite, it's Chiwu. Ooh, there's the Chiwu. Whoa. And Connell's getting banned out on Diligent side. I, I oh, Pinkray does not know. look happy I about that. How about this? <laughs> Attack lead for both players, and this is it. Game four. Let's Diligent could bring it home right now. That's right, who's taking first turn, and it is going to be this Wunsa. Wunsa going in for the big strip, and we've got Tian Lang looking to do some chaotic things here. Double stun, Chung Punk, Poseidon! Bomb's going to be coming out. Well, that's not... That's not looking good. The bomb on the Poseidon is very effective here. Needs to go into it, wants to take it out and make it official. Ooh, Hagen getting the glancing, no despair stuns, but we've got... Uh, Ganymede with the Seal of Magic, up at the attack bars, get the reset, and we get the additional turn coming out from the Chung Pung as well. The value is good, but I Defense think out there. this Poseidon dies, and the second orb comes out for Nana. It's not looking good for Pinkroid. He's got so many options. He can use first skill, second skill. Doesn't really matter too much. Goes for that second skill. A little bit more damage on top of the Chung Pung. Second, a little bit of attack bar into Chung Pung as well. I'm trying to. But it's all comes down to this. Does this bomb kill? Trying to do as much damage to this Nana as possible here. Oh, he wants to make sure that bomb's going to be killing here. There's that third skill. There goes the Poseidon. Yeah, but something to note is you don't get the orb for that. It didn't die on your ally's turn, so no orb for Nana. It has the potential to kill through here, but it's going to be rough. It's a lot of chip damage on both sides. Serious matter. Big resets. A lot of additional damage. Initial turn there. Nana still has that orb. A little bit of poke damage there. Goes out onto the Chung Pong. No sleep coming out here either. Any despair stuns dropping. Nothing but glances. Nana's going to get revived again. Trying to cycle any of the attack bar. He cannot with all this glancing out there. Oh, needed the violent proc. Needed the massive violent proc there from the, uh, from the Gany. It could still be enough, though. Definitely could still be enough. The defense breaks are on the side of Diligent, though. He's able to do a little bit more damage if he has these defense breaks out. 
And we house one on top of the Hay Gang. Hagen can still despair stun, and it does on the T and Lane, keeping that unit back. We have the third skill from Ganymede, Zeal of Magic coming out to reset the wounds of dumping the attack bars. No attack bar reduction though, the resistance is huge. Needs to stun. No stuns here. Looking for some glancing, and we do have a revive coming back, but an additional turn coming out here. Drops the T and Lane. Oh my God, this is so close. There's so much potential here. Needs a double stun. Can he get it? He needs to go for it. Gets double glancing though. Ventilate not back on. He's going all in with these first skills. That's going to be dropping the Hay Gang here for an additional orb. And I think that's going to be it. Gany cannot turn this around here. Diligent is definitely going to be taking this one home. He needs to reset the wound side here for the skill three. Has the potential to win. It's very, very slim, but he's going to go for it. He has the opportunity, the extra turn, but doesn't get it. And no sleep is the glancing. Oh, no Diligent needs to go in for the skill ones there. Diligent has to be going oh. for that skill one opportunity. The extra turn. The initial turn as well. It's not over yet. Oh, it's so close. Is that going to be enough? Not just yet. He has the seal. He can dump the attack bar. Finishes off the Nana, and there it is. Diligent is this year's Summoner's War World Champion.